So I'm Patrick O'Rourke from Mobile Syrup, and this phone, this phone right here, this is the Pixel, Google's answer to the iPhone. Make no mistake, this is the phone fans of high-end Android devices have been waiting for. Google has finally decided to release its own high-end Android device with the HTC Made Pixel. Only unlike the now dead Nexus line, this phone has been designed 100% from the ground up by Google. Speaking of design, people are going to either love or hate Google's low-key minimalist approach with the 5-inch Pixel and 5.5-inch Pixel XL. Apart from a Gorilla Glass 3 backing that I'm actually a fan of, there are few standout visual cues present on the Pixel. The phone features a metal unibody, hidden antenna lines, and comes in two colors Google calls quite black and very silver. Overall, I've grown to really like what Google's done with the Pixel visually, though its rather large bezel doesn't seem to make sense given it features on-screen buttons. The Pixel is far from an ugly device, but is just not as eye-catching as the Note 7 or S7, though that comparison probably isn't that fair given the fact that the Note 7 has sort of become a disaster. Under the hood is where the Pixel truly shines, with it being one of the first phones to feature Qualcomm Snapdragon 821 processor, which actually runs much cooler than the 820 in my experience, along with 4 gigs of RAM and either 32 gigs or 128 gigs of storage. Unlike other high-end Android devices, which, despite how great they are, sometimes suffer from keyboard lag or moments of slowdown, the Pixel is a breeze to use. Seriously, I haven't run into a single issue during the few days that I've used the device. While this is probably in part because of the Snapdragon 821, it's also because this is the first Android device where the software and hardware have been designed to work in unison. Battery life measures in at around a day, though 15 minutes of quick charging results in 7 hours of battery life. For Photography wise, I do somewhat buy Google's lofty claim about the phone's impressive DxO mark score, though the camera is not perfect. The back shooter measures in at 12 megapixels with an f2.0 aperture, with the front facing camera coming in at 8 megapixels. These are the exact same specs as the 5X and 6P. On the software side though, Google has worked its magic and improved both the manual and automatic shooting functionality of the camera. Though it's important to note that neither device features image stabilization. This resulted in some shots taken under low light conditions being very difficult to focus. Next, there's Google Assistant, Google's new voice activated AI that blows the competition, yes, including Siri, completely away. Rather than being unable to respond to most questions, Assistant leverages the access Google has to your personal data, which will bring up privacy concerns for some. But this allows you to make appointments, look up locations of restaurants, and then even ask subsequent questions. For example, ask Google Assistant about where the nearest Starbucks is, then next, inquire about when the location closes. The AI's ability to know the context of your question is impressive, resulting in the first time I've actually found a voice-activated Assistant useful. Google's Pixel is exactly what the high Android ecosystem needs right now. It's unclear what effect the phone's unique and exclusive features like Google Assistant, as well as a cleaner looking overlay featuring rounded icons, will have on the broader Android ecosystem. But for Google to finally make a realistic grab at the high-end market, this is how things needed to play out. If you're still lamenting the loss of the Note 7 or waiting for a high-end Android smartphone worth buying, Google's Pixel is seriously the device you've been waiting for. Thanks a lot for watching my review of the Pixel and Pixel XL. Make sure you subscribe to Mobile Syrup's YouTube channel. There's tons of awesome mobile related content hitting the channel all the time. And make sure you like this video and also comment because we want to know what we did that you liked and what you didn't like. I'm Patrick O'Rourke for Mobile Syrup.